I convinced myself I'd got gonorrhea. What? 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 <coughs> oh, there's an echo. <sighs> gonorrhea. Do you have to say that when we're eating custard? I thought you were being serious. I am. You wish. Oh, you are going to have to get Mummy to the vet. She's unnaturally rotund. Oh, shut up. She's just big boned. Anyway, what is all this about gonorrhea, Simon? Have you ever had sex? Simon? No. Hmm? His voice just broke. Then it's highly unlikely you've concocted a sexually transmitted disease. Now, if it was her saying it. Debbie. Thanks. I blame our form tutor, Miss Dunderdale. And you put the lotion on your pubic thatch. But be careful. The lotion is day glow blue and it marks your fingers. So, if you ever see someone with blue fingers, it is more than likely that they have an infestation of crabs. Simon, what did I just say? If you get crabs, your fingers go blue. Have a house point. No, gonorrhea. Never mind gonorrhea. I had paranoia. It's a lot worse. Bollocks! Oi, Worcester, what are you looking at? Eh? <laughs> miss! Miss! You have. You've got crabs. And maybe some of them gone into my mouth and made me contract. Simon, Miss Dunderdale likes the sound of her own voice. Any relation? <laughs> and not everything she says is true. He said Libby, that's my Christian name, Libby, oh, no offence, Mohammed, you've got your finger on the pulse. Would you like to open a record shop with me? I said no. Teaching's my vocation. And what was that man's name? Richard Branson.